Hello, hello, family. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. Listen, uh, welcome back to another video. Y'all, last night we had such an awesome time. Listen, listen, that chat box was lit up. Do you hear me? We was cracking up. I mean, we were learning revelation. Y'all, if you didn't have a chance to get that to uh, see that live stream last night, I want to invite you to go and uh, take a look at that. It was absolutely awesome. So, uh, of course, welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. So, of course, before we get started, um, I'd like to invite you to hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button, and come follow me as we discover our destinies. To my new subscribers and new followers, welcome y'all. Hey, family, we had a lot of y'all in the chat last night too, or watching, and a few of them, I think, chatted that um, they were new subscribers. Um, I, can't, I can't remember how many, but anyway. So, um, yeah, so welcome to my tribe and family at large. Welcome back. Thank you all, of course, for visiting my media resource and finding value in something that I have to say. I appreciate your time. And family, you know what? If you like the content that you are viewing here, why don't we let the YouTube community know? We do that by simply hitting that like button. It gives our tribe and our family the greatest opportunity to grow. So, y'all know. No, I always mention our Thursday night live streams. Yes, indeed, at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and uh, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Y'all don't want to miss it. It was it. It is so awesome. We have such a good time, fellowship, information, conversation, family. I'd love to see you out there next third out here with us on next Thursday live on the channel. Also, I forgot to mention in the live stream last night, in the community tab is the Rock Your Crown um, event. And um, that is being brought to us by Narc Free Living. Um, our sister Shannon Savoy over at Narc Free Living. The tab, uh, excuse me, the, the flyer is in the community tab. Family, ladies, queens here on the channel, make sure you sign up for that event, okay? I forgot to mention that on last night, so make sure you sign up for it, okay? We want to support our sister. All right, so let's jump into the topic of this video, though. So, this gaslighting, whoo, boy, listen, you know, I don't really just take the, uh, the, the the abuse tactics and just really break them down, but this one right here hit me hard and heavy last night um, as I was getting ready for bed. It was heavy on my mind because I've been, you know, people, we did the uh, live stream yesterday on foolishness and a lot of times people are staying because their reality is altered you know and they don't know what's going on but the dangerous reality about gaslighting okay and why narcissists love to abuse you like this okay that's going to be the topic somewhat like that family let me tell you something this this gaslighting that they do first of all you need to know that anytime somebody is trying to alter your reality, that's a problem, okay? That is an absolute problem. And you need to get away from someone that is trying to do that. Now, the only thing about, um, uh, about you know, how it actually breaks, breaks down and how it plays out in the situation is a lot of times, if the person is using that as an abuse tactic, if you're green to the whole situation, naive to it, you won't know until it has actually almost literally, you know, just just about put you in a mental institution. You know what I'm saying? But the dangerous reality of it is that it is a form of brainwashing, okay? That's why it's so dangerous, is that when you have a person that is constantly challenging your reality, and you are naive to the abuse tactic that they are enacting on you. I mean, just that right there alone can just, you can all, I know most of y'all watching this video know about the gaslighting, but see, you, you need to understand why it is so dangerous. 
I mean, somebody is, it, you don't know that somebody is actually using this abuse tactic against you. And, and they're constantly telling you, no, you didn't do this. Or no, you didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. And they did. I mean, everything that they're saying is opposite of what happened. And you're challenging them and saying, no, you did say this or you didn't say that. What they are doing is attempting to alter your reality. And uh, and once you've sat in that or under that abuse for so long, people honestly lose themselves because of gaslighting. And it's just like the enemy, y'all. It is just like, the, I mean, Satan loves to basically he wants to remove your sound consciousness and he wants to give you his consciousness see if he can get you out of sound thinking and and alter your reality or question your reality or make you question your reality then guess who's in control okay guess who's in control because it's certainly not you okay it's certainly not you so People that use this gaslighting tactic, when I tell you it is the most insidious, I mean, it is, it will literally, I mean, to have someone just questioning their reality. And this is what narcissists do. They love to do that because they want you to become completely dependent on them. What better way to do it than to make you think that you are absolutely crazy? And that's what gaslighting does, family. I need y'all to please hit this like button because you know what? My heart is feeling heavy for people that are going through this thing right now and they don't even know what's happening to them. Y'all know we're getting a lot of new people to the channel that are new to this whole narcissism thing. Look through the comments. Y'all, family, I need y'all to please hit that like button. You know, the only thing I ask y'all is to help me out with, them, with, the, with the like button. Y'all, please hit the like button because this right here, could be some life-changing and life-saving information. And as I say to y'all, my, my common theme, our common theme on this channel is, listen, family, once is enough. Once is enough. People shouldn't be going through this two, three, four, five times, okay? Going back, going back with that foolishness. This gaslighting is so insidious because the narcissist is attempting to brainwash the victim, or in our case, survivor, okay? It's, it's, it's brainwashing and they want to, they tell you all of these things. They're challenging your reality day in and day out. Then they throw the word salad up in there. And not only are they challenging your reality, but they're throwing the word salad up in there. They're, they're telling you they didn't do this. And then when you're, when you start asking them questions, they send you around and around. So that is one that they love to, uh, love to attach to the gaslighting and the projection. Not only are they telling you that that uh you didn't they didn't do that and they didn't say that or you didn't do it and you uh or you didn't say it when you know it was actually opposite of what they said that's why a lot of you done start had, having to record these birds okay a lot of you have have had to start recording these birds but see here's the here's the truth about that anytime you got to pull out a recorder and start recording somebody and conversations it's time to go I mean, what kind of foolishness is that? You mean to tell me I got to pull out a tape, I got to pull out a whole recording device to record our conversations because you just that evil. You are, you are a whole Chinese crested bird. Okay. Why? I just, I don't get it. If I got it, listen, here's my thing. This is, this is what I got to say about it. This is what I got to say about it because I'm I'm sick and tired of good people being squatted on. You see what I'm saying? I mean just being just being done. Listen, this is what I got to say about it. You gaslight me one time. I don't need time number two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Okay? Just one time. Let me notice it just one time and I'm out of there. Okay? I'm out of there because see, I know the severity of sitting in that type of abuse. I know what it can actually do to a person. Okay. I know what it can, it, it can do. 
You 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 hear you see people in mental institutions. Not only not only is it the gaslighting, but then you know they they go on from there to think that they're hearing voices and all other kinds of stuff because the demonic realm has attacked them so much. So because their guards are down spiritually, they are not able to fight the narcissist, and then all they they get all of these demonic attacks. You know that's affecting their mental health. Listen, I tell you all all the time because you know we keep a balanced diet on this channel. I'm gonna give you some laughs, I'm gonna give you some spiritual, and I'm gonna give you the hardcore core truth, the cold hard truth, okay? But you gotta understand that. Listen, these birds are playing for keeps. This is what the enemy does, and he wants you to be. If you can be tore up. And you can be around, walking around in la-la land, questioning your reality, uh, possibly being in a situation that's going to take you decades and decades of trying to heal from. The main goal and point is to keep you from fulfilling your destiny, family. To keep you from fulfilling your destiny and your purpose. And you going around and around with these birds. You gaslight me one time, I'm out of there. Okay, and and people are really under this abuse. They are they are living through this every day, and they don't they have no clue what's going on. I mean, you go sit your keys down on the table. You didn't put your keys over there. You know, you put them over there. I mean, they have. I've heard some people say they've gone so far that they park the car on one side of the garage. Narcissists go out there and move the car on the other side of the garage, and then and then gaslight them and tell them that that's where they parked the car. I mean, you know, all this old kind of crazy stuff, moving uh garden tools, that you know, shifting stuff around in the kitchen, the house, hiding things from them, and then lying, telling them, no, I, I didn't put it there. You know, I, I, you didn't, you didn't never put it over here. Taking money out of the bank account, squandering it, and then telling you you took the money. Oh my goodness, family! Please hit that like button. This is ridiculous. It's a form of brainwashing. The narcissist wants to be able to be your only reality. That's the that's the whole point and goal of this gaslighting is they want to be your reality. They want you completely dependent on them. I told you, if the narcissist could have it their way, they would be like a, you would be like a, a, they would have a remote control that would control you. They push it up, you go forward. Push it back, you go backwards. Side to side, you go side to side. This is what they want, family. Listen, anybody try to gaslight you, family? When you notice it, Listen, don't even ask any questions. Don't ask any questions. Don't exchange words about what you thought and what it was or whatever. Because see, then you're going to give that enemy time to, to uh, get some type of argument together to manipulate you even further. You don't talk to the devil. Why would you have a conversation? No, the only conversation you have with the devil is reminding him of where his future is. And that's in nowhere but the pits of hell. Come on here, somebody. And the only conversation you have with the demonic realm is you taking authority over them demonic spirits and telling them what time it is, okay? Because you got that type of power in the Holy Ghost, okay? In the Ruach HaKodesh. We ain't doing no gaslighting. No gaslighting. It's over. Done and finished. Okay? Done and finished. And this goes for anybody. I don't care who it is. Family members, uh, children, uh, friends, co-workers. I don't care who it is. You gaslight me. I'm out of there. You know, you and, and hopefully you are not dealing with children like that. You know, if you are, you gotta, you gotta get, catch that and train them up young. It's, um, train them and correct them, especially if they got a narcissistic parent. So you, you gotta make sure you take care of that. So listen, family, I just want to, I wanted to go ahead and put this video out here and let you know, listen, this is dangerous. It is a dangerous abuse tactic. I mean, probably one of the most lethal in the whole arsenal. Okay, other than the lying and the cheating.
okay so family please hit that like button and uh hit that subscribe button okay if you haven't done that have a wonderful weekend family i appreciate each and every one of you i love each and every one of you and i want you all to be safe out there okay and i will see you all on the next video i'll see you at the top okay shalom family peace